Today is Sunday, April 7th, 2024, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Royal Progeny. Our theme scripture is taken from Revelation 5 verse 10, and it says, And has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Hallelujah. Isn't it remarkable that all through the scriptures, Abraham was never referred to as a king, but he became a progenitor of kings. In Genesis 17 verse 16, God said to Abraham, And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. God reiterated the same thing to Jacob. In Genesis 35 verse 11, it says, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So God gave a directive that from Abraham kings would emerge. Praise God. Then we come to the New Testament, and Revelation 1, 5-6 unveils the glorious truth that through the Lord's redemptive walk, he has not only washed us from our sins, but has made us kings and priests unto God. It says, Unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and had made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Oh, we now share in the real heritage. Blessed be God. So, Pastor says, now in conclusion, embrace your identity. You are a king. God has ordained you to reign and rule in the realms of life. Not only does he want you to have the consciousness that you are a king, he also expects you to reproduce kings like you, just as Lord Jesus, the ultimate king, has made us kings and priests. Kings reign by issuing decrees and pronouncements. Embrace identity as a real progeny, Pastor concludes. Father, this is profound. Thank you, dear Lord, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. O oh, realistic, I pray now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, dear Father, I am of the lineage of kings and I issue decrees and pronouncements establishing your will, plans and purposes in the hearts of men and the nations of the world. I declare that I am reigning as a king in life over all circumstances through the word and the power of the Holy Ghost at work in me. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please, saints, do read Revelation 5 verse 10. Then 1 Peter 2 verse 9 of the Amplified Classic says, What you are, chosen race, the royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchased special people, that you may set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtues and perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise God. Oh saints, just a couple of questions today for us. Who are you? By whom? And by what means? And what does Father God expect of us now? We want to ruminate over these truths and take our place as kings. All blessed be God. All right, for further details, please contact us via any of our social media handles or visit any Christ Embassy Church near you. God bless you and have a glorious day and a most fruitful week ahead.